Hi, my name is Andre Blackman from PulseAndSignal.com, and I'm here with Susanna Fox from the Pew Internet Project. Thanks again, Susanna. Um, I had a question for you. Uh, tell us about the Pew Internet Study and what you do there. The Pew Internet Project studies the social impact of the Internet. Most of our research is based on telephone surveys, um, which includes a cell phone component. And my focus is the Internet's impact on millennials and healthcare. Um, I'm particularly interested in what we're calling the social life of health information. All right, excellent. Um, and how do you think this information is important to the public health community? Well, the public health community, um, the, the state government, federal government campaigns that we're seeing here, as well as the nonprofits, are all trying to get their messages out to people. And these are essential messages that people really can benefit from. Um, and so the data that I bring is that 79% of Americans are online, 56% of American adults go online wirelessly with a mobile device. Um, and also, 85% of American adults now have a cell phone. So you have to figure out how to make sure that your message is accessible on these small screens, and also make sure that it's really easily shared, um, because that's really the future of uh, public health. Right. And, you know, we're here at the CDC conference for, you know, health communication, marketing, and media. So what are your thoughts on public health moving forward with these new and innovative tools? What's been really wonderful is to see how many agencies are already moving forward. Um, so the FDA working with the CDC on the uh, peanut butter recall with the salmonella outbreak in January, um, the swine flu H1N1 campaigns that are ongoing. Um, really, uh, I'm seeing the beginning of some amazing social media campaigns. I think that um, it's possible to take it a step further um, and to do more uh, on mobile. Um, and to do more with social media to make sure that um, they're really getting into, into all the channels. Um, I think that the frontier that I heard about, uh, which hasn't yet really broken through, is the Spanish language component, which I think is going to be essential, especially for text messaging and mobile. All right, excellent. Well, Susanna, those were excellent comments. Thank you so very much. Were there any specific resources that you wanted to share with uh, the readers of Pulse and Signal? Well, the main resources that, um, that I'm bringing to this conference um, is a, a couple of dot-com examples, actually. Um, and then when I go to dot-com uh, conferences, I like to bring some dot-gov and dot-org examples. Um, and today I talked about patients like me um, and the um, social network potential um, that can really come with bringing um, all the tools of observations of daily living. Um, I'm also seeing that in project health design. Um, so anyone who's interested in uh, mobile, social technology, and health should take a look at um, the, the projects that are happening both on the, on the dot-com side as well as in foundations and dot-gov. Because I think by bringing those all together um, at this conference, at, at other conferences, um, is really going to bring together the community in a smart way. All right, Susanna, thank you so very much for uh, joining us here uh, for this little interview, and uh, I really appreciate that. You're thank welcome. you so much. That's